everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Pop Off and Game Kill, and today we're playing some more, or not some more, still so used to saying that. Um, we're playing some Fruit Ninja 2, which is a pretty fun game. I assume most of you have played or at least heard of the original. So, this is a sequel to it. Um, it didn't come out super recently, but I believe it's roughly two months old. It's still quite a new game. And, um, I've been playing it for two maybe three days now and I've had a lot of fun so I thought I would share with you guys still pretty early on in the game so obviously it still follows a pretty basic system but the main thing this one is focusing is the armory is a pretty big change so a you have an actual character he didn't do a ton but he is a character there's tons of different characters like when um you two I think most of these guys were from the original and of course it seems coming soon characters plenty of stuff coming soon but also the main two which is just a girl and male ninja or boy ninja or whatever have different skins i got the cherry ones for doing i guess what would have been the tutorial so next thing is there's blades so this is more this is pretty interesting it's still very much a work in progress as you see most of these have an ability that sound really cool but they say coming soon so I feel like that's going to be a big change for this game, is when they act actually add sword abilities, but currently it's just different stats. Pretty boring currently with the blades, but I feel like once they add in their special abilities, it's going to add, well, a lot to the game. Um, taunts, this is more important for multiplayer, which is one of the bigger changes, I suppose. And power-ups are pretty cool, too. So A lot of them are multiplayer exclusive, but there are tons of different ones. Like, this is a great wave, which just summons a bunch of fruit. It's pretty cool. It might not make a ton of sense now, but I feel like we'll later. There's also a shop. Refresh a day where you can get different items. Special swords, power-ups, skins. Blueberry skins. Blue and purple one. As well as, not to mention chests and stuff. And obviously there is, like, the net purchase stuff as well. And the garden's pretty cool. Basically, for most games, you get seeds. And you can plant seeds water the crops, they take time, they will eventually grow into either gems, coins, tickets, which are used for more of this, anything that's not really a basic game, um, which is pretty cool, I actually have a chest to collect, they can also go into chests, so this is one of the more basic chests, it is the watermelon, I believe tier wise it's watermelon, then pineapple, as you can see I have a pineapple chest on the left there, the chests take a bit longer, and then also, then it goes dragon food, then I think it's like space or something, so there is sort of like a season's pass, which I don't love the idea, especially since there's a premium version, which is a lot better, obviously. But it is sort of nice. It's just for your daily, like most of the daily or seasonal quests give rewards in that, which is pretty cool. Um, but the main thing is an event. So there is basic game mode, like the basic ones, if you remember from the original game, there's Zen, Classic, and Arcade. Those still exist. In Arcade, you actually get access to your special powers. But... It seems a little odd to me, there's only actually one at a time. They have different, like, score. Obviously, I've completed them all for today, but each day, there's, like, a score challenges, I guess. So, if you do enough scores, like, if you play enough and get high enough of a total score throughout all of your different games, you get, uh, like, a chest or something like that. But there are some pretty interesting game modes as well. So, I've already played some of these, but I want to try them again. So, I do actually have to change my power-ups quickly, because it actually did point out there. Wrong slot that a lot of them don't work for multiplayer. This is a really useful one. Um, then I'm gonna go for Jazz Apples, which is pretty cool. Um, nothing else is really all that useful. I think I'm gonna go for Tornado, since it seems the best. So we're gonna get to test out some power-ups. This is going to be, um, I think it's pretty similar to basic, um, arcade is it called? I think it's arcade. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna keep on going. There are a little bit of changes in terms of how they score everything and stuff. But I don't think too much. That was really good critical wise. So yeah, this ability summons a giant like wave of fruit. The tornado creates a tornado on the screen which sucks in fruit and unfortunately bomb as well. And um, you get bonus points if you score a fruit combo or something while they're there. This is the game by the way in case you haven't heard anything about it. You basically slice fruit with a sword the basic of it but it's very addicting and very fun in arcade mode there's three like special but nana power-ups freeze frenzy which spawns a lot of fruit and um double points which i happen to get all of them here this is very good 
So then my third power up is Jazz Apples, which turns all apples and it basically gives them a hat and glasses. It seems mostly cosmetic, but I think it also gives a small scroll boost and stuff as well. Yeah, this has been a very good one so far. I'm getting very lucky, which is nice. Now let's activate our Jazzy Apples that really aren't that many, but it's just a little bit of a nice extra bonus. Still have to be very careful about the bombs, however, because bombs... The bombs are very dangerous. Arcade mode, I believe, we're probably going to see any second now. So they do end with a pomegranate, which is basically just one you slice a lot. I'm pretty good with the pomegranate. As you can see, there are 37 hits. It's probably on the high run, but very good. Bonuses are also only for arcade mode, but they are quite fun. So let's see. I think this is a lot better than I did last time, but I could be wrong. Got a seedling. You do level up. So originally, like, things like the... What's it called? Um... I want to say the garden and the armory and the shop, all that stuff. You don't unlock it, but you unlock it as you level up. And it's pretty quick. It's actually pretty good. Moved us into the next tier. We now get a cosmic berry box and 3,000 coins at the end of this. Assuming no one overtakes me, but there's still two days and an hour left in this event. So this is one of the mini games. Anything that's not a basic one uses tickets. Pretty cool. One of the more boring ones since it's really just arcade, but still very nice. I think there's some extra bonus points. This is com more with multiplayer, but it's a little different, so let's try this one out. It's a race to 500 points, which 500 points can be pretty hard to get. These are the different maps, by the way, for multiplayer. So this is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to show you more of a basic one after this. But this is just how the general multiplayer works. Um, very similar to the sort of version they had in the previous games. I just realized, though, I currently have my wrong power-ups. They are very... There are a lot of power-ups that are very useful for um, uh, weakening your opponent. As you saw, he made my fruit small. I have a good one that I think you also have to use that it switches their color. Whites are extra valuable. Any, both players can slice them, but they get bonus points if you do get them, which is always nice. And he flipped colors, great. Yeah, so he has a pretty big advantage because I forgot to well, switch my power-ups, but still... He's, it's still looking sort of close here. I still think I have a chance here, but not a great one. Okay, this is actually a really close game. Did I just win because of that? No, it's a race to 500, right? So yeah, this is going to be a very close game. He has a big advantage here because he has a lot better power-up combo than me. But that doesn't mean a ton, all things considered. Because it is still a lot more focused on skills and stuff. But yeah, I was actually using Tiny Fruit and basically the exact powers he was using, I was using too. Which would have been better for this. Instead I am at a bit of a disadvantage. Ooh, but he used a bad color swap there and I got an advantage because of that. It does look like I'm going to lose this though, which is a bit disappointing. But what are you going to do? happens. Yeah, he's got clear advantage here. I believe we are going to lose. So I might try this again afterwards with my proper power-up setup. Um, how was, dang it, how was your day today, though? My day's been pretty good. I had a pretty decent day. Nothing too great, nothing too special, but just really fun overall. Um, very tired, though, and not hungry anymore because I have a pretty big snack, but I was very hungry because, um, I don't know if there's any reason really in particular he beat me there, and that's not very good. Well, I lost that. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's anything real reason in particular. I was just pretty tired, I suppose. Minus five trophies, that's not good. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to fix my point setup. All my power-ups in the armor quickly, so I'm gonna switch out small fruit instead of jazz apples, and this is the real one. Blue fruit switches all fruit on the screen to my color, basically. Very useful, so we're gonna try this one more time. See if I can do a little bit better than that. Because if I do win, I might actually be able to make it to a higher rank, which is obviously better rewards, which is definitely better. Um, but yeah, I do hope your day is pretty good. Let me know if you like this game, by the way. I'm trying something different. Well, different than Moon's Adventure Time. So let me know if you're excited to see different games or if you'd rather me stick with Moon's Adventure Time. I'm 
happy to, or very interested to hear your opinion or thoughts or whatever. Oh, that's a pretty bad power-up. Not for him, obviously, for me. See, like there I switched the blue fruit and ended up with a very big set of fruit. See, and then he did not do a very good job there. Blue his fruit as well as mine over there, but that is a dangerous one. I don't know which power-up that's called. I don't think I have it yet, but it seems very useful. That was very bad timing on my part. But still seem to be in the lead, at least for now. Who knows how long that'll stay for, though. Um, yeah. So obviously I'm a little more paying attention. This is a little bit more of a challenge. So I do apologize if I'm talking a little bit less, a little less commentary. commentary. Um, but I don't know. I find this game really fun, that's the main reason I wanted to play it. I thought it's possible since it's all sorta of new, you might not have seen it. And it's just a really fun game that I feel like most people would enjoy. Including, well, obviously you guys. It is still a very tight game here, still anyone's game, but looking pretty good for me. Um though even your own power-ups, as I pointed out earlier there with him, can very much so mess you up. Like, the one that flips which um, color the fruit are could easily make you lose there. So I did win there, which is good. I think it's 15 trophies you get, right? Now there's seedling. So it is a good thing to stock up on seedling, because sometimes you... Anyways, as I was saying, it is a good idea to stock up on seedlings and things, because sometimes you don't have as much time to play. And honestly, the seeds give a really big boost to your overall fruit collection, I guess. I don't know. Coin, like mostly coins and stuff were very useful. We completed one of our quests here, but unfortunately in premium things so we don't have to get anything. A little bit disappointing, but so, but yeah, honestly that was more of the basic stuff. I think I'm gonna play just one more of a regular, um, I guess competitive league, whatever you want to call it. It's called leagues in this. Different leagues, it's really just playing a lot and obviously getting better gear. So let's see. I started the day with a couple wins, but I haven't been doing as well lately or recently. Cause I moved up to the next, I guess the second league, tier two bronze or whatever. And everyone's a lot better now. Or at least I'm not fighting people that are pretty bad. Most of the people I was fighting before I'm pretty yeah. eh. But they definitely seem to be better now, which is not necessarily a good thing for me. It makes my job much harder. You know, trying to win it all. But I don't know, I've been doing pretty good. So, it's hard to know. One other thing is, really I'm just excited for the growth of this game. Because I really loved Traditional Fruit Ninja. Like, it was a really fun game. And obviously this isn't at its full. And honestly, I would still probably say potentially worse than the original. But I feel like it has a lot of potential to grow. And it's nice to know. Because they weren't really updating the original game, obviously, since it was many years old, like six years or something. But it is nice to see a sequel, because it doesn't happen too often with these older games, or more, I guess, arcade-style games. Almost like Cross- because, like, really, this is one of those games like Crossy Wood and stuff, where it really was big not that long, or back in that same time period, like, around the time of Crossy Road and things. There we go, victory. We did win that. That was so close. Six points. Wow, that's really tight. Watermelons are 92% water. I also just love the random, like, fruit facts and stuff. Random things to brighten your day. Adding a little more information. Um, so we're gonna end off with one game of just classic. We're gonna see how well I can do. I have no idea how well I'm gonna do. So this is probably gonna be a shorter video because, well, I'm sort of just doing a test here. Seeing if you guys are interested in me trying other games or this game in particular. Um, it's fine if you're not. I'm just interested to hear your opinion. But I am pretty good at this game, if I do say so myself, though. Saying that, it's very possible. That's a bad sh- That's such a bad game. Okay, we're gonna try one more time because... 
I, I died with 28 points. That's really sad. So we're gonna try that one more time, because that sucked. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just having fun with these games. I guess I've been feeling a little nostalgic lately. Not exactly sure why. But I've been checking out some older games. Like, I think I mentioned earlier that I found Angry Birds Star Wars 2 and stuff a while ago. I actually just, this is an interesting story. So, the movie's called Dead of Night. It's a very old horror movie, black and white, from 1945. You might have heard of it. You might not have. Does I'm not sure. I wouldn't have heard of it if I just, like, I wouldn't know it if someone just told me the name. But... I remember I watched the first, it's sort of split into like five parts almost, not like real, like separated or anything, but it's roughly, like it's separated into five stories mostly, and I remember I watched four and like a half, and they progressively got scary, it was a pretty scary movie, but then I never finished it, pretty sure I lost the disc, and haven't seen it since, so I actually in recent, um, working towards trying to find the movie. I think I found a way to watch it, so I'm hoping I will be able to watch it this weekend, which should be nice. But I don't know. I'm just thinking back on it, because it was a very good movie. Let me know if you've seen it. I remember finding it very, very scary, though it was quite a few years ago, so we'll see. We'll see if it holds up and feel, fear-wise and that stuff. It is sometimes very hard to predict, or hard to tell. Um... Yeah, not much more to say than that. Um, today's Wednesday. I didn't say that yet, did I? No, no, I did not. Middle of the week. Wednesdays are pretty good days. I find I like them a lot because when it's Wednesday, especially when it's later in the day, Wednesday, you're like, I'm more than halfway done. I'm closer to the end than the start. I have the weekend coming up, breaks, all that stuff. It's sort of like the exact opposite feeling of Sunday. Like an in-between between Sunday and Friday. Friday, you're excited because you have the weekend. Sunday, you're sort of, generally, obviously not for everyone, not everyone the same. But generally, you're sad because the week's starting up again. Wednesday sort of has a mix. I know some people don't like Wednesdays, but I don't know. Wednesdays are pretty nice. I kind of love them. Well, usually. Obviously, some days, some days are worse than other. Dropped a fruit there. That's not good. So in classic, in case... Wow, that was really close. In case I need to mention it to you, if you drop a fruit, well, bombs obviously are instant lose, as you saw at the start there. Um, but if you drop a fruit, you get an X. And if you get a fruit combo, which is three or more fruit slices, like almost in one slice, sort of, you actually revert those Xs, so they're not that big of a deal. But if you do drop three fruit and no com fruit combos or whatever in between, you will... Oh, actually, up to two there. You will, um, lose, so that's not very good. We're doing pretty well so far. My goal would be to beat my best, 529. It was sort of hard to get there, but it wasn't that big of a challenge, as you just saw. Oh, crit. I have no idea. Crit combo one of the two. They eliminate crosses. Maybe it's a 50% chance. I don't know. We lost one of them, down to just one X. We are getting close to roughly, now less, ooh, two crosses, though. This is dangerous. But I have less than 100 points and we lost. Well, that could have been worse. Um, I think that's going to be it for today, though. Um, sorry about that. I hope you guys have had a pretty incredible day. Please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed, subscribing to join the Football Offense Squad. It makes my day. It's super nice, and I really do appreciate it. Have a wonderful Wednesday, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!